Now here's how to make some of the paper for the fursuit. I'll show you a little bit here. Take the shredder and just slide the paper into it. Stop when you're almost through. Pull it back out and then you have a long strip with a bunch of strips hanging off of it. Now you have a big pile of fur here. This is fur paper. A couple of shirts to use to add the paper to. And what we use is hot glue to add the strips of paper on top. And this is sort of done like a shingle effect on a roof of a house that you might imagine. And here's how we apply the fur to the shirt or clothing, other clothing. Might have been better to use some stretch um, like some sweats or something, but I used a button-down shirt. Now you apply a line of the fur, press it down lightly, and then use the uh, some kind of towel or something on top of there because the hot glue is really, really hot. And then you have it. And here it is on my back as I uh, give an example of what it might look like in, in layers. Now we're going to do some of the white paper the same way. This is for the uh, pants part of the costume. And here is the bottom half completed minus the head. Now here's how the headpiece goes. This is actually just a uh, farmer's hat, a, a straw hat with the brim cut off. And now here's some fur attached to it and what look like horns sticking out. Paper towel roll tubes and that's all it is attached to the hat. Now here are the paws, which are shoes that are going to be covered with fur in a moment. A cute puppy, huh? <laughs> There's the headpiece. And here are the feet. Give a little example of those with the legs on. It already is my identity. It will become a legal identity too and that would be a, that's a good thing I think one day after a judge denies his petition a green tree man says he's not giving up the fight to have his name legally changed to boomer the dog we return to Gary Matthews home today where he told us it's his dream to be named after the dog from the 80s TV show here's boomer Matthew says he considers himself to be more dog-like than human, and he wears a Boomer the Dog costume when attending furry anthracon conventions. He says friends have been calling him Boomer the Dog for about 30 years, and he wants to make it official. But Judge Ronald Felino denied his petition, saying the name change could cause confusion and adverse consequences to the public. The ruling also says, quote, although petitioner apparently wishes it were otherwise, the simple fact remains that petitioner is not a dog. Matthew says he'll likely appeal the ruling because the name change would make him feel complete. It would be, it'd be like last step, uh, you know, of completion. Because everybody has a personality that they have and that they nurture and they grow as this person. And uh, so it'd be great to have a name to kind of get everything together. The CEO of Anthrocon said he knows of only two other cases where names were legally changed to reflect animals.